What's wrong? You scared to talk about it? I don't know nothing about Get it. Get up there and talk about it, boy. You know how to use it? I don't know how to use it. I'm messing with you. Toolbox Tuesday time. Uh, started a video series for our company about some of the interesting tools we can use. And this video for you today is going to be what's the best tool that we've purchased and that we can't live without, that we used to live without for years. And it's this guy got right here. It's a water level monitoring device. Is that the proper term for it? It's sonar. So let's pop this baby open. I believe this was, this one's eight years old now, I think. I don't know if it's that old. Seven or eight years old. I think back then it was $400. But we use this, we use this thing uh, at least twice a week, probably more than that. Um, this is what comes with it. This is the case that it comes in. You can see over about eight years of getting it in and out of the truck, the case is about gone kaput, but it still, still does good. Lightweight, opens and closes easy. It stays on the inside of our truck out of the weather and we pull it out from behind the seat. What's nice about it though, this actually slides down in the port of a well seal, like so. I know this is not out on the job, but I'm actually going to, for a follow-up here, I'm going to go out on the job, and of course, that's Simmons quality for you there. Look at that hole if you can see it. It's not drilled in the center. But the idea is this is supposed to stick down through the access port in your well seal, and monitor the water level. And we've done some bigger pump tests on some jobs where we've had some very accurate devices there and we've compared this to the high dollar water level monitoring devices and this device has been within about half a foot of the two, three hundred dollar, no, what am I saying? Two, three thousand dollar water level, water level monitoring devices. So, walk up here where you can see some of this for you. So here it is. I know it's not monitoring, but this is what the screen looks like. When this is in the hole, it just reads the, instead of reading, searching right there, it'll read whatever the water level is. 70, 80, 800 feet down, however deep it is. So you know instantly whether you've got a water level that's pulled all the way down close to your pump intake or whether you've got a water level that's where it should be. Um, it's got all kind of options you can change here, range minimum, maximum. Oh gosh, the diameter of the well. Let's see here, the offset. Uh, we'll just kind of scroll through some of these. There was one I was wanting to show you, but now I can't find it. Uh, let's see here, hold on. It's a, it's a recovery rate that I was wanting to show you. Maybe I can show it to you when we get out on the job. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. But you can actually, as you're pumping a well and you cut the pump off, this device can show you the amount of recovery that your well is refilling uh, in a minute or however fast it's recovering, it will tell you that. So. Just a brief description of what it looks like here in the office. Uh, we're going to go pump test it on a well and hook it up for you and open a valve up and let you see how it works. So that's part two of this video. All right, so let's try this thing out. So we're drove right down the road here to a well we just recently did. Um, you can see how it's set up here. Quick backstory on the well. It's 260 feet, doing 75 gallons a minute. We've got a We've got a horse and a half, 20 
gallon per minute pump in as the neighbor's dogs are checking us out over here. Horse and a half, 20 gallon a minute pump in here, set 100 feet. Got this line that goes to a pond right down through the woods there. And then this line goes down and up to a tank at his building where they wash equipment down and stuff. So I'm gonna hook this thing up here, show you all that we do typically when we come out to a job site like this. Screw the well vent out. Oh yeah, it's gonna be one of those on camera. Ah. You got any pliers in your truck? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Don't ever screw these in with a set of pliers. There's no reason to, but we'll save that for a different date. All right, go down in the hole like this. Zoom in there, Jabbo, Rhino. Static 51 feet here. Oh, I don't believe that because that was not plugged in right. Fifty-one feet. Can you see that good, Brian? All right. Let's let some water fly. There we go. Pump coming on. So let's see if I can. Show you some of these options here as a wasp tries to fly over here and sting me. There we go. That's what I was wanting. To see. Recovery rate. We'll let it sit there and run it, run it a little bit. It's not going to drop down far. But as you can see, our old preferred method of choice was dropping a rope down in the well to see what the water level was or dropping a rock down in it and timing it to see how long it got to the water and hope it doesn't hit the side of the hole or hope it doesn't hit a cable guard down in the well. Yeah, um, we're definitely glad that didn't, you know, this is a whole lot more easier and more accurate method to just show up on a job site and see what the water level is. Um, one of the nuances about it though, sometimes these ports on the well seals This one's not like that, but some of them, they don't get drilled out good. And if you don't get this all the way in there, or if you kind of get it cocked down to the side like that, it won't give you an accurate reading. It'll just sit there and so show searching on the screen. Whereas if you get it in like that, it, it'll flash searching every now and then as the water level's changing, but pretty neat little tool to have. Definitely one of the best tools and most important tools on our truck that we use all the time. So hope you all like that. Feel free to leave your comments. 
Check us out for more videos, Wendell Lee Well Services, and leave us a comment. Go check out our website, WendellLeeWellServices.com. We got more videos coming up for you in the future. Thank you for watching.